So I have not been out fishing hardly at all this entire year, and it's now into fall, and winter will be soon be upon us, and that will be frozen over. So I thought I should get out here and at least try a little bit of fishing. I bought a new anchor for the canoe, so I wanted to test that anyway, so I'm going to go out just a little bit, throw the, throw the line a couple times. I've never tried to record, document myself fishing before, so this is going to be a new experience, um, so that will be part of this experiment as well. Thank you for coming along and joining me. Let's see if anything's biting. It's a little cold today, a little overcast, so I'm not sure. So I should probably do this uh, as a video at some point, but I actually turn all my hooks into safety hooks by, pinch by pinching down the barb, flattening it out, so basically it becomes barbless. I don't think you can really see that. And I do that so it doesn't stick into the fish as well, which means it's easier to take out, um, but it also makes it harder to remove, uh, excuse me, um, it's easier to take out, but it's harder to keep in when you're trying to reel in. So you have a greater chance of losing your fish, but that's okay, because it just increases the challenge. Crimping down the barb and using barbless hooks makes it so much easier. Now today I'm just aiming for pan fishing, so just the small uh, perch and bluegills and sunfish that are in here. Um, there's some red ear sunfish, some green sunfish in here, some pumpkin seeds. So I'm going for the small fish, so with the barbless it's not an issue at all. Now when I start catching bass and get serious, I may need the barb, but I'm going to try it without. Um, I don't do a lot of serious bass fishing. Supposedly there's bass, largemouth or smallmouth, I'm not really sure, perhaps both in this lake, but um, I have not caught any yet. But again, I've, I only go for like, I use small baits, small hooks, and I'm only going for those panfish since I've started fishing here. So um, maybe we'll have some more exciting, exciting bass fishing in the future, but today is I'm targeting just panfish. Though having said that though, I did bring a larger lure um, that the shad. It is a two-inch shad, and I'm going to try this for bass as well, but um, we'll see.
talk a little bit about my setup. Um, today I'm actually using a float, oops, <laughs> a float, and then a swivel hook with some kind of some kind of lure. I'm, I've gone back to like soft baits, these soft lures. Um, historically, I've used like I've used lures like spoons and crankbaits and things like that, and um, with no with no bobber and. That has always worked pretty well for me, especially spoons. I'm a spoon fanatic because I could seem to catch pretty much anything on the right size spoon. But um, I ended up buying some floats, some bobbers, um, because I'm trying to get my daughter. She's four years old. I'm trying to get her into fishing. And she doesn't quite get the concept of, you know, casting out a spoon and then reeling it in. She wants to cast it out and just leave it there. So I was like, okay, well, I'll get some bobbers and then it'll work for you. And that's great. But after doing that, I realized, hey, why don't I try a bobber in my setup? So I've just been casting out, leaving it, and especially with panfish, they hit it almost immediately. So as soon as it goes in the water, I see that bobber go under, and I pull something in. So um, it's it's actually kind of a new setup for me. It's not historically what I've done when I fish, but uh, it's definitely working out. So I keep doing it. So the place where I started fishing is actually at the mouth of a stream. The stream is uh, a stream that goes through um, one of the lots that I, I own on the lake. And um, I've been fishing at the mouth of this, hoping you know, that this is where all the bass and the big fish will be. Um, so I'm going to switch over to the, the two inch shad. Again, I crimped the barb down. So I am going to go barbless on this one, and we'll see how it goes. Um, again, I'm mostly targeting panfish, but before I move on, and go to a little bit deeper water where I often have a good luck with these squids, these power bait squids. Actually, what are they called? Atomic tubes is what they're called officially. They look like squids to me. Um, I usually have good luck with them in the deeper parts of the lake. Now, it's important to point out that this lake actually is not very deep. This was a flooded pasture from an old farm, so it doesn't get very deep. In fact, I think the water is only about two feet deep. Um, so it's not a very deep lake, but um, we'll go ahead and give it a shot at try. So the fish aren't really biting. Unfortunately, I need to head back inside. Um, I'm on baby duty right now, so I need to return and look after my daughter. Uh, she's back from preschool, so or pre-K. So I need to head back to land. Um, I came out to the the, the, the deep deep section. Um, and switch back to the atomic tube, but I haven't seen much change. So I've got a couple nibbles. I got one fish, as you probably saw, because I'll probably include that, but I haven't really bothered getting too deep into it. The shad in the shallows was just giving me, basically just catching weeds. I had, did have some nibbles on it though, but the atomic tubes are usually very, very good for me. So I'm gonna head back, um, take care of some, you know, parental responsibility, and then maybe I'll come back on the water. If not, then uh, this will be it. <laughs> so anyway, let me know if you like this fishing video. I know there wasn't a lot of action. It was really just a test run to see, okay, can I f document myself fishing? Um, and really I came out to test the, the, the anchor and everything else. So, um, but if you like it, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up, comment, let me know that you like it. Um, and yeah, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. I'll be do a, doing a lot more fishing and hunting and a lot, door, out, a lot of outdoor stuff. So definitely come along and thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me on this journey.